Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow. <laughs> thank you, Louise, for that kind introduction. And thank you for the honor of being named the UNF's Distinguished Professor. I'm in such prestigious company as I think about all those distinguished professors before me. You really have made this a very important award. I'd also like to congratulate Greg. Greg, you have accomplished so much in your career and you deserve some very high recognition. Congratulations. How did this ever happen to me? <laughs> the whole experience has resulted in me thinking about why I chose to be in academia in the first place. Why would you choose to be in academia? No, if I wanted to manage people, I should have joined the Army. If I wanted to be rich, I should have tried a startup. If I wanted to not work, I should have married a rich spouse. Sorry, honey, I didn't really mean that. <laughs> if I wanted to have power, I should have gone into politics, like maybe running to be the governor of Alaska or something like that. <laughs> you know, if I wanted to be useful, I probably should have stayed at the hospital. So why did I decide on a career like this? Was it because I couldn't do anything better, so I thought maybe I could teach? Was it because I really had no better idea or no better opportunity? No, that wasn't it. That wasn't how it happened for me, and I know that wasn't how it happened for you in this room. Instead, I wanted a career in academia because I love students. And I wanted to contribute to the body of knowledge and the application of that knowledge in my discipline. When I reviewed the recently revised mission statement, I saw some of those same ideas present. The mission statement says that the University of North Florida fosters the intellectual and cultural growth and civic awareness of its students, preparing them to make significant contributions to their communities in the region and beyond. At UNF, students and faculty engage together and individually in the discovery and application of knowledge. UNF faculty and staff maintain an unreserved commitment to student success within a diverse, supportive campus culture. How are we going to achieve this mission? There are many diverse answers to that question. Some would say resources, more money, more time, more personnel, more equipment, more faculty and staff development, more, more, more. And it seems especially pertinent at this time with budget constraints. More would probably make it easier to achieve this mission. But my answer to achieving this mission is somewhat different. I think the best way to achieve this mission is through teamwork. There are many examples and descriptions of teamwork. We all saw effective teamwork at the Olympics, beach volleyball, swimming relays, gymnastics, basketball. I don't know what happened to the Jaguars on Sunday. They usually display good teamwork. <laughs> Michael Jordan says in his 1994 book entitled, I Can't Accept Not Trying, there are plenty of teams in every sport that have great players and never win titles. Most of the time, these players aren't willing to sacrifice for the greater good of the team. The funny thing is, in the end, their unwillingness to sacrifice only makes individual goals more difficult to achieve. One thing I believe to the fullest is that if you think and achieve as a team, the individual accolades will take care of themselves. Talent wins games, but teamwork and intelligence win championships. 
A Japanese proverb says, a single arrow is easily broken, but not 10 in a bundle. Woodrow Wilson, our 28th president, said, I not only use all the brains I have, but all I can borrow. Through years of experience and lots of mistakes, I've developed a model, the essential elements of teamwork, which is actually included in the program, if you'd like to refer to it. In order to be effective as a team in academia and also in healthcare, an essential skill set is necessary. It begins with core skills of critical thinking and competence. As academics, we're all committed to critical thinking. In this model, critical thinking means to thoroughly analyze, synthesize, evaluate, and reconstruct in the process of mental discernment. In other words, reasonable, reflective, responsible thinking is used to decide the proper course of action. It's the scientific method applied to the ordinary world. Competence includes the knowledge, skills, abilities, and behaviors needed to perform a role. It involves the desire to grow through experiences, to learn and adapt. The competent person uh, per accomplishes more than is expected. Other affective skills are a little harder to measure. They're the skills of care and courage. Caring is a demonstration of sincere empathy and mutual respect. It's not just being nice to one another. The team commits to helping another person grow. So Sir William Osler said, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. We're moved by emotions more than logic. What if you were told you only had three months to live? Good example of being moved by emotions. Courage is another important element, and it begins by looking within. One must acknowledge weakness and ask the hard questions. It inspires commitment to make things right, and it requires vision and accountability. Martin Luther King said, the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. There are two bonding skills which glue the team together. Communication is at the center of those, these elements. Of course, communication is critical if teamwork is to be effective. The message has to be simple, focused, and credible. The goal of communication is action. It's not just to dump information on people, but rather to give them something to feel, to remember, or to do. The ultimate outcome is collegial collaboration. You may see it across the top of that model. It requires working together with shared objectives and commitment. Members are there for each other, and trust is implicit. Collegial collaboration strengthens teamwork. It results in respect among members, role clarity, effective conflict resolution, and increased accountability. It's the kind of teamwork we really need. Could this be one of UNF's differentiators? among the universities in the state system? Hmm. How important are teams? Simply said, the team's outcomes are much greater than anyone's individual outcomes. Here's an example from aviation. Fausch and Helm studied the effect of fatigue in errors made by flight crews. Fatigued crews made fewer errors when they had flown together for several days than rested crews who hadn't spent time together. Other examples from healthcare readily highlight the importance of teamwork. Research indicates that teamwork results in improved patient safety, higher quality of care, decreased costs, reduced conflict, 
increase staff motivation, reduce staff turnover, and increase patient satisfaction. Maybe that's how we should fix health care in the United States. They certainly are outcomes to which we eagerly aspire. The academic world, though, is focused on individual achievement and, and recognition. The focus is on the PI. Tenure is awarded to an individual. Members of research teams are encouraged to secure their own grants. Co-authored publications aren't as valued as single authored articles. Service to the program, the university, the department, or the profession barely reaches the radar in a merit or promotion and tenure application. Let me tell you though, it's hard to turn a theory into world-changing technology without an environment that rewards team thinking and behavior. The only reason I stand here today is because of teamwork. I would have never gotten through a PhD program while working full-time with children without support from my husband, family, friends, and coworkers. My dissertation chair and team members gave me what I needed to succeed in research. And on it goes. I was given responsibility to start new programs, to build new additions, to raise money, and continue a research agenda. I had colleagues with the ability to think critically, and they were competent, caring, and courageous. We learned to communicate and, and developed true collegial collaboration. In Woodrow Wilson's words again, because of borrowing others' brains, our programs are strong and very relevant. The college is named and I continue to work at scholarship collaboratively. I am much smarter and much more effective because of all of you. As we move forward at UNF through challenging times, teamwork is crucial to our success. We will get through the SACS accreditation together. We will face our financial woes together. We'll make good decisions about programs and personnel and equipment. And making those decisions using the model that I've outlined makes the job tolerable. The weight of the scenario isn't totally on one person. We can be secure using the team's expertise to make these decisions. So I encourage you to work as a team rather than standing by yourself. Michael Jordan said, if you think and achieve as a team, the personal accolades will come. I want to thank so many of you that made this award possible. President Delaney, President Hopkins, Provost Workman, and the Academic Affairs staff, the Vice Presidents, and my dear fellow deans, thank you for this honor. But you know, it's the Brooks College of Health, faculty, staff, and students that really, really deserve this award. I would never be on this podium without you. So to the Associate Dean, Lucy, School Director, Lee, Department Chairs, past and present, Kathy, Rusty, Joanne, Judy, and Judy, Pam Nimchek, the Dean's Office staff, faculty, staff, and students, please accept my gratitude for working with me. We are strongest together, and our success is why I'm here before you today. Would you all stand from the Brooks College of Health so you too could be honored? <laughs> Once more from Michael Jordan, talent wins games, but teamwork and intelligence win championships. We have talent and we have intelligence. 
It's teamwork that will make a difference. So let's go forth, united as a team, and face the challenges and meet the opportunities that come our way. Thank you very, very much.